Welcome back everybody. Today's Friday. It's my day off. I was supposed to get my damper from uh, JHPL or the ATI damper for my motor because that's the last piece of the puzzle for the motor. I went to Honda this morning to uh, get a couple bolts because Steve from HMO, huge shout out to Steve from HMO. A lot of you guys here on the West Coast affiliate with Steve and HMO. A hey, this thing is what I needed. It's my bracket for my up, it's the upper bracket for my alternator. And everywhere is discontinued. I mean, my the last resort I had was to go to the junkyard or find a shop that had it. So today, I'm gonna actually today this bracket. I'm about to clean it off. I got my wire brush, got some energy degreaser. We got a little paint booth set up. Which after it's done getting dried, I'm gonna throw a few coats of paint on this. I'm gonna mask these off real quick with some tape, and then we're gonna paint it. Let it sit. This tea bracket is looking amazing. It's my snack, don't mind those. These are about to be sold soon because I have something else. I'm gonna end up going another route with a different setup. But today we're actually gonna take care of this. These are my door panels from my Civic. I'm gonna clean them down real quick. I'm gonna flip and this we're around. We're gonna take off every single one of these bolts so I can take this off because this actually, this uh, insert, I'm actually gonna have reupholstered in black Alicantara. It's gonna have blue stitching. So I'm gonna redo that. Cause when I ordered, <laughs> I ordered some more flocking. It was like a three ounce bag. I actually put the wrong address. No, I put the wrong city. Cause we're in Marietta. I put, uh, no, we're in Winchester. I put Marietta. So it got sent back and then I called the company and the guy that I spoke to, he actually tried to send it again and put the wrong zip. So they resent it. So hopefully it should come in the next couple of days but that three ounce bag i'm going to use for my dashboard i'm going to use for my center console and everything else i still got to get an armrest so i'm going to find find an armrest online redo that the armrest itself i'm going to actually have that re uh reupholstered so for now, now clean and paint the uh the bracket and then we'll get started on this door panel let's get into it mini kit you know comes with the glue your adhesive this you put your flocking in this tube and you just pump it out i actually um got these brushes so i can help lay the adhesive and so we're gonna do hopefully do two well, this all right so i got the insert out i got this cover for the speaker out i'm gonna clean this off all real quick and then let that just chill and let it dry after i clean it and then i'm gonna lay the first coat of paint so this is a little of my masking off i'm gonna cut these little pieces off make it all nice and neat and then get on the first coat like i said this ain't no paint booth so i'm just trying to do what i can with Clean this off already. Um, I'm about to lay the application on there and then start flocking it, trying to get as much as I can. And because you usually have only 10 to 15 minutes, oh no, I gotta take that down. You have 10 to 15 minutes before the adhesive starts to dry. So I'm gonna have to tape all this down real quick and then uh, start applying all that stuff and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so after applying the adhesive, I went over just one coat. You know, you have 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to put as much flocking as you can. So I'm gonna let this sit in the sun. Or actually, I'm just putting the shade and let it dry on its own. But you gotta let it sit for, it says 10 to 15 hours. So this is what it's gonna look like for now. And this is what it looks like for now. I still gotta brush off all the excess flocking, probably, you know, tomorrow or something, but for now, 
this is how it's gonna look but once the insert's in and then that's that door cover or the speaker covers on it'll be fine so i literally just finished right in time it's definitely not an easy task to do with one person but it looks so good all right first one's done second one i already cleaned it down took out the insert took out the cover for the speaker so we're gonna hit with a little youtube magic i know a few people ask how do you do it do it like this and there we go so not too bad now we're just gonna let this one dry like the other one and hopefully you know in 17 hours they come out great and this is just baking just the way i wanted it so i'm gonna let that dry i hit it with second coat already but i'm just gonna let it sit a little longer and then uh, i'll unmask but to put the tape and everything and we'll be good well two coats wasn't too bad it came out pretty legit i took off all the masking but uh we're done here. Well, the flock room was done. I waited around from UPS to freaking drop off my package. But what happened was, is not UPS, FedEx. FedEx literally dropped off the package. Mind you, I was in the garage all day. All day. Well, from, well, I was home all day and then from 12 to 5. Oh, yeah, we dropped the package. I called customer service. Hey. I got a message that you guys dropped the package. That's clearly a lie. I was here all day. And they're like, oh, we can try again tomorrow. No, no. They took my number down and my address. They're like, oh, yeah, we'll have some drop it off. Between 5 and 8. No, we can I was annoyed. So hopefully tomorrow they'll drop it off. If not, I'm just going to go pick it up myself from the warehouse. Tomorrow, though, we're going to a car meet up at Irwindale. It's hosted by Moon Eyes, if most of you are familiar with that. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which will probably be posted Sunday. But you guys have a really good rest of your weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next one.